Okay, let's define a sinusoidal function. Um, in spite of sine being in the name, there are two sinusoidal functions, one for the sine and one for the cosine. Voila. So this is literally in the textbook, all this section is. Here are the definitions of the sinusoidal functions. Maybe we should do a little more than that. Let's go to Desmos and check these graphs out quickly. Um, I'm looking at the sine. Um, just like the graphs of the sine and the cosine look pretty much the same, the graphs of the two sinusoidal functions look pretty much the same. Um, so we've got this A, this B, this C, and this D. And at the moment, I have all of these set equal to 1. And these four parameters together control the shape of a sine graph. These are how you get the wave graph with different periods or going between numbers other than negative one and one. So we see, you know, if I increase this A, the graph stretches up. If I mess around with this B, the period changes. If I mess around with C, I change where these waves are on the Cartesian plane. A same thing with D. I change where the waves are on the plane. So the next few sections and the next few videos are going to be investigating these parameters A, B, C, and D.